Hi everyone, this video will be focusing on the Misha Lina Special Edition collection. So I got some of the products here. So if you guys would like to see more of it, just stay tuned. The first one I'm going to talk about is the Tween Matte Lip Crayon. So it comes in four different shades. And obviously I got all four to show you guys the swatches and the review. And as you can see, it comes in a half-half color, which means that you can easily create like a gradient lip look using this. So half of it is the base, which is on the left right here. And then the point is on the right. So I feel like the point is much more moisturizing compared to the base. I feel like the base is like a semi-matte finish, like what they say is like a cashmere texture. But it does show a lot of your dry patches compared to the point one. So I wouldn't wear both of them just by itself. I would actually mix them into a gradient lip look to give you a nicer look. I just feel like it just doesn't look nice for those who have dry lips just because I feel like the base one really looks patchy but the point ones are actually bearable but since you have two colors together why not just mix them to create that gradient lip you know. But I feel that the Dorothy Coral is my least favorite comp for out of all of the lip crayon. Next is called Milk Peach Cock which I think is such a funny name but anyway. Again the base color is a bit dry but it's not as bad as the Dorothy Coral and the point color is such a beautiful coral pink color it looks so beautiful and I love the combination that it gives when you put both of the gradient lip color together because it's just such a pretty pretty color and it just makes your um, lip look very like airbrush as well it just yeah it's just very very pretty and I really like the finish of it as well it doesn't feel drying it doesn't feel moisturizing but it feels comfortable enough to pull off for the day next one is a lovely color as well it's a combo of a nudie coral mixture with a reddish pinkish color if that makes sense and this is I can't even say this is called red jaguar and the reason why I'm showing you guys the Korean name of it as well is because I noticed that the packaging it doesn't say the English name but it says the um, Korean name for it so it does get confusing when you do buy it but then the site that I bought it from it does come in um, English name but when you get the product it actually just come in Korean this is a beautiful combo but as you can see it's not true to a picture the last one is my most favorite color of out of all the four because it gives a beautiful color however this sort of disappoint me a little bit because I'll show you guys really soon it actually broke off after using it three times just because it only has a little amount like this and because the twisting part is quite loose it actually fell out really easily which I was really gutted but I'm actually tempted to get another one just because I really like the combination that it gives and such a beautiful color and I've used this a few times now and it actually lasted me for about 5 hours after eating and drinking. And this is how it looks like after 5 hours of using this shade April Shock. So overall, I'm really happy with this but if I would have to choose one, I'll probably choose April Shock which I'll recommend to you guys. So overall, I'm going to rate this 50 out of 20 because I'm still happy with the product but I'm just not happy how it's easy to break but the colors are all beautiful. So now onto the modern shadow. So I got 4 colors so that it could fit into the palette that you can buy separately and it's very easy to transferred and i'll show you guys really soon and i just love how the packaging is like this rose pinkish color it's just a beautiful such a beautiful packaging basically you pull off the sticker at the back take an earring or whatever and just poke into the hole and then you pull it out and put it into the palette one thing i learned is that as you can see if you take the if you remove the sticky part it this the palette itself is not magnetic so you need to leave the glue on so that it stick onto the palette which sucks because i expected it to be you know magnetic but obviously because it is so affordable i was wasn't that surprised anyway but luckily the glue wasn't drying at all it was still very sticky so it was easy to attach into the palette and I love how compact it is and it's so lightweighted and I'm so happy with the colors I've chosen I'm actually really tempted to buy more I think it has like five other shades I can't remember now so here are all the shades all of them are very pigmented I would say the least pigmented would be the coral wind but for me I feel like the coral wind is like a transition color like a blending color for me so I'm really happy with the pigmentation anyway overall I'm really happy as you can see I chose one matte and the other three are shimmer colors and I'll show you guys a quick look right now first I apply sunny sparkle into the um, entire part of my lid and then what I do is I apply the starlit brown onto the outer corner of my eyelid and then just applying inwards a little bit just to give that depth depth 
look, not depth look, but depth in depth look, and then just blending out with the coral one just to transition and make it smoother. To add more shine, I decided to add this twinkle liner and I got it in the shade number 1. I think it's called Dazzling Wind which I'll show you guys really soon. It's such a beautiful glittery shade and I'm so happy with this and I'm really tempted to get the second shade now. Sorry, it's called Dazzling Moment, close enough. So this one has a gold shimmer and then I just apply on the inner part of my lid and then I'm um, just blend out with Coral Wind again. For the bottom um, lash line, I just applied the dark cherry cock on there to add more depth and make my eyes more um, wider and then using the twinkle liner again to apply on the inner lower lash line to make my eyes bigger and larger and much more sparkler and that's how the look looks like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know which one's your favorite and which one would you purchase. And if you guys want to see me try any other collection, let me know down below. And if not, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!